In this lesson, we're going to talk about absolute value inequalities. So we got two of the things that don't sound too nice together. That's absolute value and that's inequality. But let me show you a trick where it will help us find out what the answers will be. Here I have the absolute value of x is greater than 1, and here I have the absolute value of x is less than 1. Here's two things I want you to remember, and write this down. Whenever we read something as the absolute value is great, greater, write this. Write great, and instead of spelling it greater with an er, put greater, and underline that, or. And then here, it says the absolute value of x is less than 1. Write this, less than. So we'll put a d at the end of it. Now, why is that important? Well, in this answer right here, it's going to be an or form. And in this answer right here, it's going to be an and form when we graph it on the inequality. That will definitely help us. Let me show you. Let's go ahead and solve this one right here. So we have the absolute value of x is greater than 1. And we say greater like or, so we know it's or. So we would set it up like this. We would say the absolute, or x, is greater than 1 or x is less than negative 1. So you always set it up into two inequalities. One, you keep it exactly the same. You just take out the absolute value. The other one, you take out the absolute value switch the sign and make this number the opposite. So now we would see that x is less than negative 1 or x is greater than 1. So let me go ahead and say that again. Whenever you have the absolute value, we would say the absolute value of x is greater than 1. We know that that's or. Okay, so now once you see absolute value, you set it up into two inequalities. One, where it's x is greater than 1, it's almost exactly like this without the absolute value. The other one, you take out the absolute value, but you flip the sign, and you go ahead and you turn that into the opposite. So this was a positive one, you turn this one into a negative one. Okay, good. So remember that greater and less than, we're going to go ahead and solve and graph these. And we'll start with these two inequalities right here so we can see how they end up on the graph in our answer. So are you guys ready for the next one? Let's go ahead and try that little trick I taught you guys to help us know what our answer will look like. Here it says the absolute value of x plus 4 is less than 12. Well, beep, 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 that's your alarm clock going off telling you less than, so let's write it out. Less, and remember we put than because now, it tells us it's an and inequality, meaning that when we graph everything on the number line, they should connect. Let's see if that works. So remember, we rewrite one of the inequalities the same, just without the absolute value. So we'll do x plus 4 is less than or equal to 12. And, so let's put our and here, x plus 4. Now we go ahead and flip the sign to make this an opposite. So we'll say is greater than or equal to negative 12. Now, don't spend too much time wondering how or why that works. Just know that you go ahead and you flip the sign and you make the other one the opposite. That's a positive 12, so that will be a negative 12. Okay, good. So now let's go ahead and solve for x. We subtract 4 to both sides here, and we'll say that x is less than or equal to 8. And here, let's solve for x again. And x is greater than or equal to negative 16. Good. Well, now we have to graph it. And remember, there's a good chance we got it right if we graph it and everything connects because we said it's an and right from the get-go. So normally I want you to put every dash, but on the number line I'm just going to put an 8 right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put my negative 16 right here. Let's see. So it's saying x is less than or equal to 8. So we do a closed circle since it's less than or equal to. And then we go ahead and shade everything this way. Right? But wait, stop. It's also saying that x is greater than or equal to 
negative 16. So it's saying x is less than or equal to 8 and greater than or equal to negative 16. So we go to negative 16 right here, and we shade that way. And what do you know? Everything kind of overlaps each other, meaning the ands will, will be shaded in between the dots, meaning they connect. So we got that right because we said and right here, and we knew that that was going to happen, and it does. So now there's a very good chance we got the answer right. And what you want to do if you want is you take a number that's in here in the shaded region, let's say 0 for example, and we plug it in. 0 plus 4 would give us 4. The absolute value of 4 is a positive 4, so 4 is less than or equal to positive 12, which is correct. So we got it right. Good job.